In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily enhance your client's makeup in Photoshop 2024. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me yet, my name is Silvia. I'm a specialist in women's portrait with focus on maternity photography. In this channel, I talk about photography, especially professional editing techniques to help you make more money with your photos. Now, let's get into the video. One thing that happens a lot when you're shooting your clients is that the makeup in the photo is not as strong as the same right when you're seeing your client. So you might just want the makeup to pop a little bit more. You want it to make it stronger. And here I'm going to show you how you can do that. This photo has no editing so far, but I'm going to use this model here in the middle. And we're just going to get this makeup to pop up a little bit more to get more saturated so you can see better the color this is perfect for makeup artists as well if you're taking photos professional photos for makeup artists because they're gonna be able to see better the makeup let's start by creating a new layer and we are gonna change the blending mode for overlay and in this layer we are gonna rename this to shadow let me get a little bit closer and what we want to do here is just use the brush. We are going to select the color of the makeup. So here I have a variation of a few colors. So for each part, I'm going to choose the color that it's already on her makeup. Right here, I have a little bit of a pinkish color, pinkish tones. So I'm going to choose a color here that I think is good. This is really good. And I'm just going to have my brush to be soft. I'm going to lower my opacity to 10 and I'm just going to paint this part here where she has the pink. Now I'm going to do this part here. I'm going to get a color from here and I'm just going to go bigger with my brush and I'm just going to paint this part. Now I have a kind of orangish color here. I'm going to choose this one and I'm just going to paint in this part. Also, I'm going to do this here under her eye and I'm just going to paint here a few times. And right here, we just made the shadows to be a little bit more saturated. So it's showing more, it's popping up more. I also have here in the inside of her eye, I'm just going to do it a little bit here and I'm going to use actually the color from here and I'm just going to and I'm just going to paint here. Let me go smaller with my brush. I'm just going to paint here as well a little bit. And here's the before and after. Another thing that I want to do, actually, let's do the same to the other side of her eye. Now let's work on the eyelashes. I'm going to create another layer and I'm going to do overlay as well. I like overlay because I think it's strong. So we are going to work on the eyelashes. And now we want to have black and white colors here. So if you press D on your keyboard, it will automatically set the colors to black and white. And if you press X, it will switch it up between the colors. So we are going to use the black and make the eyelashes a little bit darker. So you just paint on the eyelashes. Another thing that I like to do is the bottom one as well here. I think it was too much. And I like to create a kind of line as well. Okay, so I'm going to do in the other eye now. Okay. 
perfect. Now let's work on her eye. So I'm gonna create another layer and I'm also gonna choose overlay as the blending mode. And here we are gonna work on her eye. And we are still gonna be working with black and white. So I'm gonna get closer to her eye. And what you wanna do here is to light it up the middle of her eye. So with the white, I'm just gonna paint here. And I'm also gonna do it here. Let me do the other eye. And now we are gonna do, with the black, we are gonna go around her eyeball and in the middle, just to make it stronger. And we are gonna do the same here with the other eye. And I'll take a look from further away because maybe it was a little bit too much. So here's the before and after. If it is too much, you can always lower the opacity. I like to lower the opacity to zero and then it slowly start increasing the opacity. I think that here is good for me, 40, 40%, so here's the before, here's the after. Okay, another thing that I wanna do, I'm gonna get all the photos together and just clean her eye a little bit. So her eyelashes here is getting to her eye. She has some veins as well, I'm just gonna remove. Just cleaning a little bit of her eye, nothing too much. But just to make it look better, a little bit better. And now I think her eye is a little bit red, so I'm gonna create a heel saturation layer. And I am going to press Command I on the keyboard, everything is in black. I'm just gonna go all the way with the heel. I'm gonna get the brush here, and I'm gonna choose, select the color white. I'm gonna do opacity 100, and I'm just gonna paint in the part that I wanted to remove the red a little bit. And I went up with the hue just so I can see what I'm painting. So let's do the other eye as well. Perfect. Now let me go back with the hue. I'm going to choose the channel red. And right here I'm going to just remove a little bit of the redness on her eye. It's better and I'm just gonna light it up a little bit as well. Okay, let's see from further away because sometimes we tend to do things too intense and if you think it's too much, again, just play with the opacity I think 60 is good Perfect. And another thing that we can do as well is just to work a little bit more around her eye. So we can work a little bit on her eyebrows and let's do that. So I'm gonna create another layer and I'm gonna choose the brush. I am gonna create a little bit of hairs in here so it looks a little bit more realistic because I can see that there is the makeup but the texture of the hair is not here. So I'm just gonna go to the brush and I'm gonna select, I think this brush here is good. I want, I do not want soft brush. So I'm gonna get closer. I'm gonna choose a color here. I'm gonna have a really small brush and I'm just gonna paint 
and see how it looks like. I think it might be too small. I think this is good. I'm gonna choose a darker color so I can see better the hair. And I think it is a little bit too small, so I'm just gonna go up with the size of the brush and just play around and see how it's looking. And it's good when you change some colors to mix it up a little bit and the size of the brush as well. I just wanted to fill up the eyebrows a little bit. Okay, so I think that that's good. I'm gonna do on the other side as well. I'm gonna start with a bigger size of brush and darker color. I think it's too big, so. So right here is already looking way better. And you can take your time to actually do this. I just wanna show you things that you can do. Okay, another thing that I can do, I can work a little bit with the dodge and burn. So I'm just gonna create another layer and this time I'm gonna go to the blend mode soft. I'm gonna press D to have black and white as the color and I'm gonna use black and I'm gonna lower my opacity to 10. I'm gonna change the brush to this one. I'm gonna have um, a very soft brush and I am going to make this brush a little bit bigger and I'm just gonna paint this part here of her eyebrow just to make it a little bit darker. So let's see how it's looking. Now I'm going to put both layers in one layer. I'm going to write eyebrows. So here's the before, here's the after with the eyebrow. Look the difference that it makes. So now I'm going to put everything together. I'm going to press Command Option Shift E on my keyboard. And I have the photo edited right now. Of course, that everything's gonna look way better if you have the skin retouch, the dodge and burn, and the whole process that you do on the client's face. But just to enhance the makeup here on the eye, here's the before, here's the after. Again, before and after. Let's look from far away. Before and after. And let's look for a little bit closer again. before and after. If you like the results, click the like button so I know this is a very simple and easy way of how you can get something that's already on your client and just to make it pop, to make it stronger. Makeup artists will love that. But now you know how to enhance your client's makeup, which will give you a better quality of work. And this is really important if you wanted to get paid more. If you want to know other ways to improve your skills to make more money with photos, check out my latest video here on the screen and also subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every week. But for now, this is everything. I really hope that this video was really helpful for you. Until next time.